Huh. But we digress. But we digress. I finished the noble route. It was with dinner. And? It was good. It was good? It was actually it was after Oh, just dinner, good. Oh, okay, it's gone it's down very a little good. bit. Okay. It's just very good. It's all right. That's all right. It's just not very quite good. a burger beer, but it was a good beer. <laughs> no. so. Well, you had it after. After the beer, yes. Yeah, that's right. It was a fry beer. I enjoyed it with fries. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I like with fries. Is the noble rot. Give me a good no- noble rot from Dogfish Head. But we're not here to talk about that. We're not. We're here to talk about... I almost said beer, but that's not what we have here. I don't know what this... I don't know what this is. Oh, wait, I do. It's clear. It is clear. So it makes you think of something that's unfortunately very popular. Yes, but we don't do that. But we don't drink that here because... No, we're trying to champion the popularity of another clear spirit. That's right. And something that is finally kind of coming back. Kind we of hope. gaining a little more popular, we hope it makes us very happy. We hope we have something to do with that. Well, I hope we so. have had something. We, to do what with that. small part of that we have? Yeah, we have. We're out there. <laughs> we are. We're out there on the you know on the edge, helping to lead the charge. We are, and that's what we've got for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew, and I'm Keith, and we are about beverages.com. And the beverage we are about today is, well, it's a uh, Green Hook Gin Smith's American Dry Gin. Yes, this is actually this was given to me as a gift by someone that I work with, and uh, he knew how much that I love gin, and he was heading out to uh, actually New York. This is uh, made in Brooklyn, Brooklyn, and uh, you can, you can order it online. You can find it there. You cannot find it locally here in Southern Arizona, but uh, okay. or if you can, let us know at aboutbeverages.com. dot uh, com. As far as I know, you can't. Okay, and uh, so but you can order it online through different uh, you know places that sell that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, a lucky man this Christmas. You got uh, the Lafrague Triple Wood, right? I did. I got the Lafrague Triple Wood, which is or delicious. Lafrague. Lafrague. Lafrague, that's right. Lafrague, yeah. Lafrague Triple, Triple Wood. Triple wood. And, uh, and well, I'm assuming you've enjoyed some of this. <laughs> I have. Cool. It's kind of sad. Usually we try these things right away. This right. is one we have talked about several times. Yeah. I even did a little bit of a mock write up a few months back when we were kind of running a little lower on content. I was like, well, I need people to know about this gin. So I've already talked about it a little bit, but we're finally kind of getting to try it on a podcast. This may be the last taste we actually get out of the bottle. Wow. That'll be one last. Big last. Well, like, oh, okay. No, it's de- it's deceptive. It's deceptive. Yeah, it is okay. deceptive. I think All we'll right. both get a couple okay. sips, and that's. It. But that's right. fine because I have uh, had this to the fullest. I uh, and I think you, I actually tried a little bit of a gin and tonic you made with this, but I haven't had it straight. That's a, yeah. That I think you did. Like you actually did to get together. That's right. Yeah, we did do that. With okay. Two, it was a two hundred nine gin and tonic versus a. The gin versus the Green Hook Gin Smith. So, yes. I obviously, ha- having had many martinis with this and everything, I do have a lot to say about that, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, okay. um, did we talk about the price at all? Uh, no. It's right around $37, oh, yeah, 38 dollars, yeah. something like that. And 47% and, alcohol. Yeah, and 47% alcohol. So, I'm assuming year round? Yes. But yeah. Like, but, like yeah. you said, not necessarily here in Tucson, but. Yeah, currently uh, this distiller online. only does. Um, I believe two different gins. Uh, they do a couple different, you know, two different styles. Um, but uh, we will have a link to them at our website at aboutbeverages.com. Ooh, I'm already getting some fragrance. Yeah, like I you might said, as well this just pour American it in there. style. Yeah, which so is something else we'll talk that? about here in a second. Okay, good. Um, not not that I have a definition of American style, but after tasting it, I think there'll be some discussion that we can have okay. that you'll that uh, we'll find interesting. Gin <laughs> I hope. American style. Yeah. It's like that show, Love yeah. American Style, except with gin. Gin, Ooh, and I'm not even gonna. We're not even gonna talk about the color because that's kind of no, boring. No, everyone knows what. Yeah, gin. everyone knows with gin, unless you're drinking Magellan. What does it say? It's on all the, the same. Of these glasses. There's, there are words. That's the Glen Karen. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the type of glass that this okay. is. Okay, nice. All right. Yeah, I saw words down there. wasn't sure what those words were. Words, words, Roxanne. <laughs> it's buttery. I mean, butterscotchy. A little bit. Creamy, like the creaminess is yeah, kind of there. Creamy of like a, and, and then cucumber, I think. Yeah, there's definitely a floral and a, and I guess a little veggie note in there. I get the cucumber and the juniper, and then I totally agree with the like vanilla butterscotch. Mm. That kind of note something in there with yeah. that. Wow, that's interesting. That smells really good, right? Yeah, really different, unique. Yeah, which is the point we want to make about gin. Very different, very unique from spirit to spirit. Gin is not gin. Just because gin like initially starts with juniper, it's not. That's not the whole thing. That's one component of all the things that 
a, a distiller will put together that and they will put together with all the other botanicals and florals that they put with it. Because gin is created with these things while it's being distilled, while it's being, you know, crafted. Right. As opposed to, hey, I've got this bottle of relatively tasteless alcohol. What should we add to it? <laughs> Anything, really. Yeah, anything. And people have. That's right. Um, so, <laughs> and people you know, have. Uh, you know, that's exactly. after the fact. This is this is during the actual creativity process, so. Well, and that's why you, you know, on these, like I said, you, spend, you can spend a little more. Like I said, this one's a little on the higher end. You know, some of the good ones, you know, at least, you know, upper 20s, low 30s. That's what you're going to expect to pay for a really good gin, and it's right. worth it. Some other things, like we were just talking about, there's not really a need for that. And you can even, it's not just our opinion. People like Alton, Alton Brown have even talked about this before as well. Alton Brown, and what was that uh, that quote from that person in Toronto too? I had that. I sent that to you. And oh yeah, that I was. I had it for the longest time on my phone. I need to actually get that back. But I probably still have that. It was very good. It's there we'll at the find bottom it. of the screen. Okay. See, so, yeah, that was. I found good. that in yeah. the vibe. So. Oh, was that where you found it from? Okay. Yeah. There's a little fire at the... Yeah, there's a little extra heat on that one. Fire at the front of my tongue. Oh, yeah, a little... Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, there's a little bit of... Um, actually, almost citrus comes out on that, in a way. I get a little... Uh, not quite lime, but some sort of mild citrus. May It could be yeah. it could be a cucumbery... Uh, I think a blend of, a blend of the two. Thing yeah. coming out in there, too. Is just something very refreshing in that, but you, you still get that, um, that creamy butterscotchy yeah. component is still I, there. That was what I was kind of most excited about was that was what made it a little bit different was that yeah. came through. And what it reminds me of, the conversation I was thinking about having was the it reminds me of the Old Tom gin that we had recently that had that creamy note, little vanilla oh, yeah. or something like yeah. that. And it was almost like this being different was almost like a bridge, a bridge of a bridge. Because the Old Tom was the bridge between Right? Wasn't that what they talked about? Was mm-hmm. that yes. from the London Dry to right. the, that to, you know, like I said, going on. Like, so this was almost like another half step or another partial step because this has some of the things that you'd get out of a, a typical London Dry or of that style, like the botanical part. But then it had that other, you know, a, a creamy note, a, other, right. a sweet, maybe right. a sweet flavor in there, a vanilla, something like that, which made me think of that. It was like a little bit of a blend of the two. The old Tom to me is a little like cleaner. A little more straightforward. This is a little more complex, almost. Definitely, uh, totally agree. Uh, because it has that the, those other notes in there that make it just give it a little more depth. But, huh? You almost can feel it a little bit in the body that there's a little mm-hmm. extra viscosity, something yeah. to it, a little that coats nicely. Uh, now, do I they think. have a definition of what they say American dry gin? Uh, not, not that I, not that I saw okay. on their website. And I've read through most of it because they've got a lot of cool information about the type of still that they use and their process and things like that but i didn't see anything that okay. at least it jumped out at me but ever you know our listeners our viewers can let us know yeah let us if know there's something if you know that we missed a specific uh, characteristic or, or exactly what that would uh, mean or the maker of this wonderful gin can definitely let oh, us know yeah. as well <laughs> but like so, yeah it, it's i've used it in gin and tonics um i don't think it works quite as well in that um, gin and tonic. I thought. Yeah. I mean, I thought it was good. Uh, like I said, the gin and tonic. I like to be a little bit more crisp. Like I like the two hundred nine for that, just because right. there's a little more citrus in there. And I, I had like one that of the, play. Uh, the old tom. I had a uh, gin and tonic with the old tom the other day. That, okay, it is nice and it's very. It almost gets lost, but it but it's it's good. Okay, it's right. It's good and refreshing right in there. So yeah, I had I had. But as a martini, it works fantastic. The, yeah, like I said you know, and I make a very dry martini. Like I said, we've got we've have that, we have that recipe on our site at aboutbeverages.com. You can check that out. But yeah, very dry with that as well, and it, it worked. I see this working well with the dirty martini too. The garlic almost would enhance that. A little garlic, that a little more sh- a little more salty. Body, yeah, a little briny. Yeah, that, yeah. I think the briny would be good in that. That was, that was tasty. That was very good. Yeah, I like yeah. I like that I like that one a lot. It's different, yes. and and that's what is so unique about gin compared to other you know things you know clear spirits like that and like you know none of these they're all very different. They all have certain things in common. They all have certain things that are the same. But there's just those little variables that people weave in and out that do make all these spirits very different. Whether it's bourbon or scotch or like I said or gin or any of those kind of things. Anyone except vodka. Anyone except vodka. Exactly. A hundred percent on that one. Wow, I'm still looking for a little, uh, little fiery banter with that one. I know. I'm kind of surprised. I'm actually starting to think the that most of the people are we wrong? 
Yeah, most of the people I think that watch are probably like, yeah, I agree. Those guys are right. Vodka yeah. is a bunch of trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But uh, if you're looking for more of this type of thing, definitely head on over to the website at aboutbeverages.com, and that's where you can find the tasting notes for this uh, wonderful gin from Green Hook Gin Smiths, as well as where it hits on our recommendation scale. And uh, while you're there, definitely let us know if there's some other gins from some very special little nooks and crannies throughout the country that we are missing out on or just want to tell us about definitely want to hear about those because this is one of our favorite spirits but whether we like it or not you should give gin i mean give it a shot